Can you tell me exactly what happened? In the case of Joel Sheldon, my work began with a visit to Sheldon's wife. It was 1.45 p.m. September 2nd, 1954. This man, Joel Sheldon, was arrested for the murder of Silas Ritchie. He was tried, convicted, and sentenced to prison for life. But was he guilty of murder? For three years, he protested his innocence. His appeals did no good. He exhausted all legal remedies. And then he found one final hope. Its board of investigators, a group of seven men, experts in law and criminology, bound together in their dedication to improving the administration of justice. Yes, mister? Maybe I am. Can I help? No, I don't need no help, thanks. How come you know my name? Who are you? Yes, and if she's saying the truth, you can prove that it was self-defense like Joe. Sheldon chose a very bad defense, sir. Wouldn't hold up in court. If it was self-defense, then Sheldon would have been retreating and Richie going for him like Sheldon testified. But Richie couldn't have been going for him. He was shot in the back of the neck. That's what you based your case on, wasn't it? That and the fact that Richie's pistol was in its holster, never fired, and no rifle was ever found. Thank you very much, gentlemen. You've been very helpful. For the moment, I won't take any more of your time. It's our pleasure, sir. Look, you just go sniffing Mr. Investigator long enough, and you're going to wonder why you ever thought Joel Sheldon was anything but a killer who shoots a decent citizen like Silas Richie in the back. What's the matter? You lost? You're Mrs. Richie, aren't you? Go on, kick. Go on, kick, kick. Go on. My name's Sam Larson. But there's one thing I can tell you. Joel Sheldon is a real fine man. I don't believe he'd have shot anyone in the back. And I think every word he said at the trial was the truth. Every word. 